Hi, I'm Lisa Sabaniak, and today we're going to do a quick video about the cycles of the moon. So as a priestess of the goddess, I work very closely with the moon and her cycles. And some people are well aware that the moon has different cycles, right? We're aware of a full moon and then a crescent moon, for example. And then we're aware of a point in the time when we look up in the sky and we can not, not see the moon at all, or maybe just a very, very, very small sliver of the moon. So this is what I'm referring to about the cycles. Now the moon has four phases to her cycle as she's going through us being able to see varying percentages of her. And we already know, and we've known for quite some time now, that the pull from the gravity of the moon is affecting our oceans, creating our tides, for example. And the reason why this is important is that we are all made of about 70% water. So if the moon can have that kind of effect on something as big as the ocean and create tides, then surely it can have a significant impact on us and our emotions and what we're feeling drawn to and things like that. So that's the whole point of really understanding the cycles of the moon is it being able to understand ourselves being able to understand when we're going to be more, you know, craving certain types of foods or certain types of exercise, when we require more rest, et cetera. And what I would like to focus on in this series of videos I'm going to lay out for you over the next several weeks is I want to focus on how we can use the cycles of the moon for shadow work. Now, first of all, shadow work is simply the term that we use kind of in the spiritual aspect of, of life here as a deep kind of soul searching, reflective type of work that we do when we really go in and kind of break apart our unconscious mind to try to figure out what's driving us, right? Why do we have the actions and the reactions that we do? Why do we speak to ourselves and to others or about ourselves or about others in the ways that we do? What needs do we have that we are trying to meet, which are all valid, by the way, but perhaps our way of going about meeting those needs is not really serving us, right? That is really what shadow work is. It doesn't necessarily mean that we need to go and revisit, relive trauma that we have faced, but we do need to be very open and honest with ourselves. And that's what I would like to use the moon to do in this series of videos. So to do that, we need to first understand those cycles of the moon. So if we start with the new moon, this is right before we call it the new moon, we call it the dark moon, literally the day before. And the dark moon is literally when we cannot see the moon in the sky, not because of cloud cover or smog or anything like that, but because we literally, there is zero representation of the moon in the sky. She is in her dark moon phase, and the very next day she will be in the new moon, which means we will see a very small sliver, like 1% of the moon will be in view. And this phase, the new moon phase, is a time when we want to bring things in to our lives. So this is a perfect time of the month to focus on manifesting, on creating new intentions for ourselves, maybe using positive affirmations for ourselves and doing any kind of rituals, if we are into that, um, that would allow us to bring in or draw closer to us the things that we are looking to attract. And that also means that we need to raise our energy vibration so that we can actually match the energy of that which we are trying to bring in. So that is our first phase. Now, day by day, we are going to see more and more of the moon, right? The percentage starts to increase. And as we're building so that we are getting more and more visible, we are calling that the waxing moon or the waxing phase of the moon. And that just simply means that we're going from not being able to see a lot towards the full moon, being able to see all of it. And this is a perfect time to actually do your shadow work because in this phase, you've got a week and a half-ish, say, to start looking at 
what it is that you would like to release, because that is what the full moon is all about. But for us to release something, we first have to be able to figure out what that is. So in the waxing moon phase, we are going to start doing the actual shadow work. We start asking ourselves the deep questions, right? We start to notice and raise our awareness on what we're doing or feeling or thinking, and then just asking ourselves some simple questions or doing some specific activities. And that's what this series of videos will be about, is guiding you through some very specific things that you can do for each chakra and the type of shadow work that would be involved there. And naturally, the next phase of the moon is then the full moon. And this, like I said, is the time to release. So after you've done the shadow work and you've figured out what you are ready to let go of, the full moon is when you can work with doing some rituals or positive intentions to release so rather than bringing in, trying to attract new things and manifest new things like we did with the new moon, we are trying to release that which no longer serves us during the full moon. And that might look as simple as taking a shower or a bath and using the intention of allowing that water to wash away whatever it is that you are done with during this time of the full moon. And a few days into this full moon energy, we are going to start into the waning phase of the moon. And this is going to be when we start to see less and less of that moon as we move back towards that dark moon and new moon energy. And this means that that is the perfect time that you've just released what you've needed to after doing your shadow work. So you can spend this week's worth of time figuring out what it is that you want to bring in so that you can use the new moon energy to set your next intentions and manifest your next things, right, based off of what you have released, so that you kind of come full circle, just like the moon is doing. And so that's what this series of videos will also be addressing is both the shadow work element, and then also how you can then figure out what it is that you want to attract and um, intend for yourself as you move into that new moon energy. So this is going to be a large series, and we are going to start off with talking a little bit more detail about the full moon, then we're going to talk more detail about the new moon, and then we are going to go into each individual chakra. We're going to look at seven chakras, and because there are more, but we're going to look at our seven chakras that most people are aware of. We're going to look at what the shadow work would be for those chakras. And once we have finished all of that, then we are going to move back through the chakras and we're going to take a look at how we can shift and raise our energy after doing that work. So it's going to be a beautiful experience that I hope you will join me on. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already, now is the time to do so, so you don't miss any of these videos. Make sure to hit that bell icon so that you are going to receive a notification every time I release a new video. Bless. Mm -hmm.